In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the tax equivalent yield on a bond. So if you're comparing a municipal bond that pays 4% and a corporate bond that pays 4.5%, even though the corporate bond has a higher yield, this 4.5 versus the 4%, that doesn't mean that it's a better investment for you. And the reason is that this corporate bond is going to be subject to tax. Whereas the municipal bond, if it's tax exempt, is going to be tax free. And so therefore, even though the municipal bond might have a lower yield, it might actually have a higher after tax return than the corporate bond. And that's going to de depend on what tax bracket you're in as an investor. So there's an easy way to go ahead and calculate what the tax equivalent yield of this municipal bond would be. And if we just think for, just take a step back and think about it conceptually, what we're trying to calculate with this tax equivalent yield is we're saying, okay, look, this interest that we're getting here is tax free. So what would have to be the interest rate on a corporate bond to yield the same after tax return as this municipal bond? We can't just compare the four and the 4.5% because we'd be comparing apples to oranges. We wanna get it to apples to apples. So we wanna say, what's the tax equivalent yield of this municipal bond? What kind of percentage rate would we get if we were, if this were taxable to get the same after tax return as we're getting with the municipal bond? Now, if that's a little too abstract, we'll put some numbers to it. We'll make it a little bit easier. We're just gonna have, first off, just in the numerator, we're gonna have the tax-free yield, which would be the 4%, and then we're gonna have our marginal tax rate. And let's say, for our example, let's say that the marginal tax rate, tax, well, you know what, let, let me change colors here so I don't have too much weight. We'll say that the tax bracket, tax is 28%. That's the tax bracket you're in. So if we want to calculate the, the tax equivalent yield of this municipal bond, we just say we're going to have the 4%, and then we're going to divide it by the 1 minus 0.28. That 0.28 is just the tax bracket that you're in. If you're in the 10% tax bracket, then this should be 0.1. So your tax equivalent yield is going to be dependent on your personal tax rate. So this is going to be 4% divided by 0.72. And then this here is going to equal 5.56%, and that's rounded, okay, 5.56%. So that is our tax equivalent yield. Now, what is that saying? Let's take a look at this, 5.56%. So that's saying that uh, since we're getting this 4% tax-free return on the municipal bond, that that's the same, that's equivalent to a normal bond that is not tax exempt that has a rate of 4.56 or excuse me 5.56%. So since 5.56% is greater than 4.5%, we would say that in this case given your tax bracket it's actually better that you be invested in this 4% municipal bond than in this 4.5% corporate bond because the municipal bond is going to give you a higher after-tax return. Even though it's 4 instead of 4.5, you're basically, this 4% tax-free is giving you the same return as something that would be 5.5% or 5.56% not tax-free. And since all you're getting is 4.5% not tax-free, and you've got an equivalent of 5.5% tax free. This is, this is greater here. This municipal bond's equivalent yield, you're gonna go with the municipal bond as having the higher after-tax